This is for some help in problems 2-34 and 2-50 in the homework for Algebra 2. So in this problem, we're given a quadratic equation that's in standard form, the ax squared plus bx plus c, and they want us to put it in vertex form. Well, first thing we notice is we, the y-intercept. And the y-intercept, when it's in standard form, is always this constant right here, because if you set x equal to 0, then the x squared would be gone, the 4x squared would be gone, and all you'd be left with is negative 2. So that's the y-intercept. And the reason we're going to look at that is we, we realize we have some parabola. And if we were to find a horizontal line, which we're going to use the line that goes through the y-intercept, it will intersect the parabola in two places, which we will call x sub 1 and x sub 2. And the average of these two points, or the midpoint between x sub 1 and x sub 2, would be h, uh, meaning for the h in the vertex, the x-coordinate for the vertex, because it's through this point that we would have the line of symmetry. So what we want to know is where does the parabola and this line intersect, meaning where are they equal to each other. So we set the two equations equal to each other and we start solving. We're going to add 2 to both sides and get it equal to 0. Then we're going to factor and then we're going to realize that, oh, when x sub 1 is 0 and x sub 2 is 4, that's where the line intersects the parabola. Finding the average or the midpoint between these x sub 1 and x sub 2 points, we get h equals 2. We're going to plug that back into our function that is the, our quadratic function here. And when we do that, we evaluate and we get that our k is negative 6 which tells us now we've got our vertex, h, k, 2, negative 6, and we know our a is 1. We know that because here when we have the quadratic function, the coefficient in front of x squared is 1. So we can now use that information to write it in vertex form. For part d, we've got h of x, and note that we, our a is negative 4. So we have a date negative uh, a, winning a downward parabola. And if we look at the y-intercept and, and look at where does that line that goes through the y-intercept uh, equal, uh, wh where does the line intersect the parabola, excuse me, we've got x sub 1 and x sub 2. Once again, the midpoint between those would be the, the h, the average of that, because we would have the line of symmetry that goes through h, and that's going to help us find our vertex. So we set the two equations equal to each other subtract 8 from both sides to make it equal 0, factor, and then we can find our x sub 1 and x sub 2. Now the average of 0 and 1 is 1 half, so our h is 1 half. We're going to plug in 1 half into our function, and that will help us to evaluate for k, which is 9. So we know that we have a vertex of 1 half comma 9, and the a, remember the a came from the function, negative 4, and so we can write the vertex form of the parabola. And now for one more problem to show in 2-50, I'm just going to do part a. You can ask for the other parts in class, or you can email me, and I can give you that information. But we've got um, this function, x squared plus 6x plus 15. Remember that this is the y-intercept, so we're going to set it equal to the y-intercept. And then we're going to um, solve by subtracting 15 from both sides, factoring, find our x sub 1 and x sub 2, find the midpoint between x sub 1 and x sub 2, and that would be negative 3. We're going to plug in the negative 3 into the quadratic function, evaluate, and we get 6. So now we have our h and our k, our vertex. We know our a is 1 from our function up here, and we plug that into the formula for the vertex form of a quadratic. And that's it.